crazy specter things out of his farm and you walked there and it was a really long walk so let's uh go back to our players i believe i'm on the right man <laughs> You want Devin to get a DCMA or DMCA, whatever the If I can sing enough. well enough to mimic things perfectly, <laughs> um, and cause DMCA takedowns. Anyways. My goodness, I would not be <laughs> doing the job I do. The group of y'all arrived outside the, um, Ashford's new farm, and he remained up the road a little bit with your cart, managing your horses, and, um told you guys to, you know, go for it. Good luck. Hope y'all survive and stuff. You guys approach the farm. This is a battle map. And yeah, as you walk up, uh, you probably can see some things. Such yeah, as, we know, saw believe... the things on the roof last time. Yeah. But we don't know if uh, we yes. saw them. No, no, no. She literally said we saw them. Yeah, give me a second. Got the ghost horse manticore thingy. Or a ghost decor, if you will. Yes. There. The loveliest of them all is the unicorn. Does that work? <laughs> yes. Maybe. I'm gonna have like a side view. Yourself comparative to the yeah. enemy thing. Yes. And the lightning grass. There's lightning grass. Is there... Do you guys see lightning grass specifically? I guess you kind of do. I see, see lightning grass. on the dirt, so I'm calling it lightning grass because it's like grass except it's lightning. Mm -hmm. But anyways, how would you guys like to approach the situation? Whoa, this is weird. And would you have discussed your strategy beforehand? <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say. Knowing this group, probably not. We had, a few, we had a few days to get here, right? Yeah, y'all y'all have... Uh, you traveled for about a day and a half to get here. And you also, you know, had time on the way to Ecosia knowing you were going up against the Spectre. Alright, so retroactively I predicted that this is exactly what the layout of the house would be and we should plan accordingly. I'm allowing you a moment to prep before we get started. I mean, we're also here. We could just I camp can, right here and plan. Right I can try and sneak up behind it if you can distract it. We should see what it wants. Are you Why a is it I... sentient? Uh, I mean, I'm not... I wouldn't call myself a, like a specialist in sneaking, but I'm, oh, I'm okay. <laughs> but I could get and behind it. I'm willing to bet I'm the most mobile person here. I'm just gonna start walking up. Um, as they're wa as they're he's walking up, I'm kind of walking up, keeping the building between me and it, so that I can just you know try I'm and just, do them. I'm just staring at it the whole time. Mm -hmm. It's staring at you. It looks kind of agitated the closer you get. As soon as I see that, I stop. Mm -hmm. Well, so... is everyone else just gonna stand there, or are we doing this? It's looking at you agitatedly. It's 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 a cat. It's a giant cat. Um, it's not a giant cat, actually. Uh, it's not a giant cat. Never mind. What you're actually seeing is... I... I think it's loading. It's like, the, that's, that, was, that was the ghost horns, right? No, uh, I'm posting it in Dungeon. It was the thing above the master sponsor in Dungeons and Dragons, right? 
like the bat thing is. with the rider. You got. I just posted bit. it again so that y'all. Yeah, yeah that's it. But yeah. Right, that thing. The gargoyle-looking boy. Oh, they've changed my flashlight. It looks identical to me. No, it's narrower no. and it doesn't have as much glow. It doesn't go all the way to the high. It used to go to the top of the world. Yeah. I'm just gonna um, look at it and shout. Uh, whether you like it or not, we're here to help. You could assist us or not. You Talk get you. kind of like a grunty, growly noise in response. I growl back. Okay, I ain't playing no games. I'm sure we're here to help, whether they like it or not. I'm walking in. Okay, and... I will follow. Oh. Oh. Everybody stand where you are currently standing, because the rest of the party didn't move. Yeah. Right. Oh, wait. I shall be, like, there-ish. Okay. And uh, is behind me in the steel vent to defend the naders beside me. And okay, where's Carrie? And there's Carrie. And I'm gonna leave Carrie off to the side right now because Carrie's on my shoulder. Oh, okay. I also, Carrie's I also yes. didn't specify who we're helping. I just want to point that out. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm gonna do that. Uh, everybody, give me some initiative rolls. We are here to help. Oh, I no. forgot to open up D and D. I'm so sorry. GG, babe. That is a. Um, so okay. with danger sense, so I get advantage. No, wait, no, yes. that's something else. Oh, on a, Are you a on barbarian? Initiative? Yes. Um, Six levels in barbarian. I don't know if you do, but if you do, it's not danger sense. It. It's, um... Give me a sec, I'll look up the level. I don't have it. Yet. I don't have it. It, it doesn't. I just check my yet. barbarian features, I don't have it. Yeah, it's feral instinct. Can you get it at seventh level? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let me know when everybody's rolled. I've rolled. Hashtag rolled. Hashtag rolled. Cool. Uh, 25 to 20. Uh, 24. Right. Oh, by the way, oh, never mind. It would have automatically done it on D&D Beyond for you. I was going to say you have half proficiency added to your initiative rolls because of jack of all trades. Yeah, it's plus six. Uh, 19 to 15. 19. 19. Uh, what are your dex mods? Plus four. Plus four. <laughs> Roll a d10? I will concede going first. Uh, I, actually, I'd rather go second. Okay, <laughs> fine. Then I'll go first. I, I work better being able to respond to what my allies are doing. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sorry, uh, 14 to 10. 14. 10. Uh, 14 and 10. Is that Oops. all my PCs? Yeah. Yes, it is. Oh no, I forgot to name him. And I forgot to name both of them. Wow. Miggles and Diggles. Over here. Give me a minute. <laughs> Call them Pinky in the Brain. <laughs> no, I'm gonna name one of them what they are actually. The three Eldritch God Gods. Yakko, Wacko, and Dot. <laughs> uh, I need to rewatch Animaniacs. Spectre or Spectre? Spectre. Yeah. Excellent. All right. And starting us off, we have Fluffington. Yeah. Uh, so Fluffington will start off. Okay. This map is going to be working vertically as well as horizontally. So I'm toggling your fly. Okay. So I guess I should put myself to where I am. You have a maximum of 10 feet. Off yeah, the ground. I know. Okay, why is- Okay. Anyone else having this weird issue with like the zoom in not looking right? It's like fading out really easily. Whatever. Anyways. Uh, what is 10 uh, feet? Uh, there's like, um, depth of field on it and you can turn it off. Uh... So 10 feet would be like, uh... To the top of that, basically. I'm not mistaken, if you hold control and you click on your token oh, and hold control, yeah, yeah. it gives you a measure. 
Okay, so I'm up here. Um, that being said, I'm gonna start off with a... A uh, bonus action give um, Doug's character Bardic Inspiration. How much is that? Uh, it's a D, 1d10. And because of my current class features, you can use it as a... a you can add that to your AC. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, How long does that AC thing last? Uh, it's one reaction. Oh, okay. But... So it only lasts for like one hit. Yeah, and you. So basically, it does uh, uh, the DM has to let you know what the raw roll is, and then you get to choose if you use it or not. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't actually know the modifier. Yeah, specifically it says no, a creature that has part inspiration that. die from you. you can roll that die and add the number to the roll number roll to a weapon damage roll, or when an attack roll is made against a creature, it can use reaction to roll a die and add the number. After seeing the roll, but before knowing whether it hits or misses. Okay. So, so like whatever gets... the die says. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if he tells you it's a 16 and you're it's a 17, I might want to add that. Um, and then for my actual action, sorry, what'd you say, Bree? Okay. He doesn't remember. Your voice. voice jumped three octaves. Okay. Cool. How far are they? Oh. They be far. At least they probably can't hit me from there, eh? Um, I'm gonna... Choose... To cast Greater Invisibility on myself, and then pass her. I be invisible. Um... Let me do some math here. Math. One, two, three, four, five, twenty-five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna dash from here just to get behind this building. Okay. Just so that I've got some cover so they can't see me easily. you hear he's on cat speed cat speed I, I am Give him a snack and he doesn't pass out. No, I'll send him upstairs. Josh, turn. All right. All right. Have we settled on just trying to kill it? Okay, because I can see its head from where I am, so I can shoot two arrows at it. Uh, yeah, he's got I have a longbow. a longbow with sharpshooter. I have a 600 foot range. Yeah, I can outrage all of you, like, four times over. I think only Doug or... I think Douglas might actually have Elder Snipes, so we might get into a shootout with Douglas. Not anymore. Uh, not anymore. Uh, oh, yeah, Douglas all right. Is Douglas's old character might have been able to have a shootout with me. <laughs> Which would have been really funny. Who knows? You, I still have the character sheet. You could find him in the city and see if he wants to. Yeah, but I'm just, I'm not gonna sharpshoot this. This will be just a regular old shot. Sorry, I did not mean to move the scene, guys. My bad. With one of those lovely plus twelves to hit. Your thing oh. is blocking the um, initiative tracker, by the way. So that's a seventeen. Mm, so it is. Uh, a seventeen? Uh, yeah. You're shooting at the big beastie dude. The big flying thing, yeah. Okay. Second, I switch. Did I kill it? Oh. Well, no, no, you didn't kill it, but you can roll damage. Okay. Did I kill it? Oh, uh, your screen's gone. Your stream is gone. Oh, there we are. Eight plus something else. Plus seven. Fifteen damage. 
There. And the second one will be a sharp shot because that guy seems to have weak AC. I just have no overlay then. Right now. Which is a 12 plus 7. That's which is going to be a 19 on. if I, I didn't. Yeah, 19 to hit. I have to work on D&D. &E That'll roll. work. Eventually. So mm -hmm. this is plus 17 damage. Oh, I have a stream deck showing up next week. I'm excited for that. Oh, nice. 18 damage. <laughs> I rolled minimum. And... So my Steel Defender takes its turn after mine, but on my initiative. Okay. And Aizen moves on me, so Aizen can stay here. I'm gonna say that Carrie uh, has the general properties of Aizen. Yeah, it's the last time that we were gonna run her more or less the same in terms of when I can do things. So Carrie can stay on my... You know what? Carrie's got hella fly speed. Uh, Carrie's gonna fly straight up 45 feet into the sky. Uh, okay, let me turn on flying for Carrie. Okay, how do, how do I go up? Uh, hold control. Ah, okay. Forty-five. Okay. And does that let me put it on me? Yes, it does. Perfect. Uh, Aizen will go out here. And then that'll be my turn. So now my Steel Defender can do his thing and go to there. And that's my actual turn. There we go. Okay, now it is my turn. And this has a 10 foot reach, so I'm nowhere near close enough to that. Oh, that'll work. Okay. So, how do I want to do this? You want to make rocks fall. That'd be interesting. Um, but no, not right now. I just want to measure things. So we can get to here. Please remember, I'm invisible. Oh, I didn't hear you say that. He cast yeah. greater invisibility. He did, I heard it. Sorry, I'm being kicked. It's making it very hard to draw accurate things. That doesn't get anybody. I see that. I'm just drawing it so I can move it. Hmm. It will hit everybody when she's done. When she turns it into 120 foot gun. hit me. <laughs> no. Have to get closer. How much move do you have? How far can you get? Oh, actually, no, you can't really do much here. Yeah. So the specter is going to use its action to use its mount ability and. Uh, Riding the specter. It doesn't feel like it, but the specter's riding the mount. Um, sorry, I accidentally hit the DPI on my mouse. And then we'll go to Hubble. How far off the ground is this dude? Uh.
Uh, 45 feet. Forty-five, you said? Yep. Okay. Get y'all in the back, cause mine he makes a low one there. <laughs> no, you can't play with that. It's as far as I can get. Um I guess I'm gonna try to shoot something at it. I'm gonna cast Thunder Wave, I guess. What's the range on that one? Uh, 15 feet. Oh no, maybe. Each creature in a 15 foot cube originating from you must make a constitution saving throw. Yeah, so that's yeah. not gonna reach. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't measure that, I should have. Just out of reach. Uh, that's dev. Oh, shoot, where is it? <laughs> Way in front of us. All the way on the roof. Oh! <laughs> She's like, I can't hit this! No! Yeah, please don't try to do that. Well, she wouldn't be able to turn it as invisible. That's fair. No, she that's doesn't okay. see him, but. Okay, well, I'm gonna point at it with my stick. And that's my turn. It hasn't pointed at. Oh, shoot. How do you not know what I look like anymore? I mean, you I'm just changed your character, character a session ago. Yeah, but I'm Pyra. Hi, no, my also, my brain is still back on Freya. In visualization purposes. Uh, Val here. Hmm. <laughs> Can't punch them if they're far away, so I will get myself within punching distance. Oh, you are approaching me. Except I can't do anything. Because the turn hasn't been passed yet. Oh, it's passed on my side. Alright. There we go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. And then, is this at least 18 feet? 26, no, okay. 25. Did I say 30? I believe you said 30. 35. 40. Damn it! No, I can't make it jump up there. Oh, that's it. That's all I got. Oh, the glove with. Okay, so you can fly. Um, so I'm gonna need to pay attention here. Uh, so it's gonna be one. This is confusing. I get that I can't see what's going on, but do I hear anything happening? Flapping of large wings. He's gone airborne. <laughs> Enemies who are 30 above! Ian's inner, Ian's inner goal is coming out again. Are we pinning the wings once more? <laughs> Not with this character, we're not. That is a minus one to athletics. <laughs> I mean, you could try and pin the wings. Kai, you can't come down. I'm sorry. You've got to wait for homie to finish with your brother. I think homie's doing dishes. Oh?
Hasn't been passed. No, I'm still moving. We should let us know what's going on. Cause it's, we're, just, huh? we're just- I'm literally moving a guy! Hey, if, if our characters can't see what's going on... I mean, I've got a 45 foot tall vantage point. <laughs> Alright. Um... Yeah, your 40 foot vantage point should be able to see on top of the roof here. But anyways, y'all hear big wings flapping and the mounted specter begins flying towards you. All right, I can still see him clearly from here. Mm -hmm. And Fluffington. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to maintain concentration on, um, <clears throat> on, um, greater... Is. And I'm gonna go 5, 10, 15, 20. I don't get to move very far anymore. I feel like this goes so small. 25, 30. I'm gonna dash. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Because of how flying works, I'm pretty sure I could get onto that roof if I tried, right? Yeah, probably. So I'm gonna hop onto this roof. I'm not. I'm not doing like your vertical change as part of your movement. Your horizontal change is your movement. If you're not, like, if you're going like a diagonal up and forward five. Yeah. Uh, and that's been my turn. <laughs> I'm gonna get Alex. the. I'm gonna get um, flanking you guys. Long. J oh, never mind. I found him. Are you about to ask long jump rules? Yep. Hey, no, you can't play with that. For some reason, he just loves my headphone cord. Every single time he's on my lap and awake, he has to try to grab my headphones off my face. What's oh, my bad. Sorry. Yeah. Hurt me, sorry. Um. Well, I'm just gonna quickly climb up to this roof. I measured it earlier. It was about 30 feet. <laughs> Monks. I'm just gonna casually climb up that wall. <laughs> Dope monk shit. Then 35, 40. 45, 50 peek up and see that he is no longer where I thought he was going to be. <laughs> you just hear disappointed all over noises. <laughs> I've slipped on my mask at some point, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm technically supposed to wear that when I'm using class oh my features. God. Either way, I will end my turn. Actually, wait, can I see where the other guy is from here? Uh, he's mounted. He's on the mount. Ah, okay. So we have Josh's turn. Alright. I guess I'll just make two more sharp shots at the... Not a manticore. Those are fun. Those work really well. So that's a 17. Yep. For 18 damage. Well, actually, it's a gloom wing.
That was a 10. That's not gonna hit. No, didn't think so. And... Uh, so this means now... All the way up. A bit higher. Just my viewpoint. Wow. Sorry. Uh, Sorry. Uh -oh. Okay, who the f where? Six. And then that'll be my turn, and then Steel What's his face goes there. And there we go. Yo, Ian, when you gonna mod me in your Discord server, bro? Never. I am literally your brother. Uh, exactly. I do not succumb to nepotism. <laughs> so the. What if I gave okay. you a Scoopy yeah. snack? Okay. Come on. It's gonna hop down and go one. Stop floating. <laughs> I need to be able to press buttons on my thing, kiddo. Oh, is no. he above me? Who's whose chicken is that? That's, oh, that's fairy. Oh, oh, dead raven. <laughs> you just see a chicken flying. It's like I didn't know they could do that. <laughs> <laughs> see a chicken yeeted into the air. <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> so from that point, I think we can hit more targets. Pretty sure I can see where this is coming from, right? Like it's literally right above me, and I'm looking up at the roof trying to jump up. Yeah. All right, bet. Why did my screen get darker? What the hell? My oh, it's, it, it's casting Ultima. Don't worry about it. Okay. So the people who aren't in this are gonna be Josh. And me! And Val and Oliver. I've got Hubble and. Oh, but I don't see you. Disadvantage! Hmm? Um. No, this isn't a, a roll to hit attack. This is a, a saver, sa saver suck. If I'm hitting multiple targets, it's usually saver suck, but. I'm trying to see how this guy would use this attack, because technically speaking, he sees Hubble and he sees the bear who's about to jump at his face. Rock. The Can bear you get probably both? looks more familiar. No, I can't, because they're too far apart. If he aims straight down, he's gonna hit just the bear. The bear. Well, pretty I much. Think the bear looks scariest. And I don't know if we actually noticed Oliver, because Oliver didn't really make any noise. Alright, that was a 60-foot cone, right? Mm-hmm. That's totally gonna hit eyes in an X1. Oh no! No! Uh, it's in an X1, but in order to hit uh, Val here, I don't think I can hit Aizen. With a 60-foot cone. You I'm only have sure. to be right there, because it's colliding with the ground, but it actually goes twice as far. Yeah, I would actually go it's out. Actually, to here, if I were to not aim straight down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, sir, come here. Well, the, because part of it <clears throat> interfered with the ground, the rest of it would still go further and still hit them. Oh, I see. So I could just hit everybody. Though. You could hit a lot of people. I could you hit, hit Hubble, me, me and, and the two and everybody pets. In between. No, you could either hit your cone of cold. You could probably okay. hit me and the two pets, or Hubble and the two pets, depending on how you angled it. 
Because if you were to look down and hit yeah. me, the top half of the cone that, that didn't go to the ground would still continue on to the two pets. Because, like, math and physics and angles and shit. Okay. Angles and dangles. Anyway, you guys are not going to like what the spell probably is. Oh, probably uh, not, but... I would like y'all to make some... Hold on. Wisdom saves. Oh, sorry. Wisdom saves? Uh, on a cone? <laughs> hold on. Never mind. I didn't take it. Oh, wisdom's my thing, didn't take counterspell? Yes. Nope. It's okay, counterspell wouldn't have actually worked. It's probably a screech. Sorry, wisdom save? Yes, please. What is my... Natural 20. Alright. Where are my saves? Ooh, that's actually not bad. Aizen has a plus one to his wisdom save. This isn't magic damage, is it? We don't know uh, yet. You don't know yet. So that's a 13 for Aizen. And the Steel Defender does not have a wisdom modifier. So that's a 10 from the from X1. Okay, yeah. I didn't see what my number was. Um. Hubble's number was five. Huh? Five plus oh. eight, so that'll be thirteen. Thirteen. <laughs> All right. Uh, everybody, fifteen and under, you're taking full damage, Oof. and we'll be stunned for one minute. Amazing. Oof. And. The damage will be in the amount of 29 psychic damage, halved on a save. Um, those so of you who it failed, just scream more. Uh, it is a mind twist. <laughs> Sorry, uh, how much damage? Uh, it was 29 or half on a save. So 15. Yes. Oh, 15 that is accurate. Uh, it's psychic damage, and those of you who failed the save will be stunned for one minute. Uh, and those of you who are stunned can repeat the saving throw at the beginning of your next turn. Um, stunned creatures... Uh... Auto crits. Have auto crits. And they... Can't move... Oh. It's, it's incapacitated. Can't move, can't speak, can't attack, auto crits, and you'll auto fail strength and deck saves. So, you want to roll out of that as soon as possible. Okay. And then we'll go to Hubble, who is now going to um, attempt to get out of the stun. So make me another wisdom save. Is it magic um, damage? Aizen is It's dead. Uh, psychic damage. Okay. I killed Aizen again? Yes, Aizen's dead. He has Aizen 28 more health. 22. He only gets uh, four times my ranger level. level. Uh, oh. 22 will uh, pass. Okay, so, so I'm you awake again. Turn. Yeah, you can take your turn. Well, it looks like okay. Carrie is going to become your um, <laughs> permanent Hi, animal. What's Carrie's challenge rating? I'm going this way. Uh, probably higher than Aizen's? Probably. Oh, it, it better be. Carrie is, like, vastly superior to Aizen in terms of everything. But what's Al Aizen's challenge rating? A quarter. Oh. Oh, it's yeah. It's cap a ranger pet. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason that I've actually been succeeding as a ranger is because I stacked bow stuff that I could actually do even better on a fighter. <sighs> Ian? Ian. One more. No. One more. No. No way. Okay. I have a hug. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love you. Jay tried to give a baby kiss? a hug kiss. Mom went to go get one. And he's like, no, not you. So he just ran away. Oh. Okay. No, he did. I know he did. Okay. Good night, buddy. Back. Don't touch. <laughs> good night, buddy. No, Finger not. licking. Good dating. No, 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 no. <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> you. Ian. Ian. It's a real game. Yeah, I got one. Wait, what? Everybody Don't worry about it. How about what you do? Uh, 
Yeah, Hubble, you saved before your. Yeah. Uh, you saved, so you get your turn. Yeah. I moved, I moved and I was waiting for everybody to stop talking. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Um, I'm gonna cast Call Lightning um, on top of the dude's head. So centered uh, on which of my two dudes? The, or the, the, over top of them both. Okay. Uh, that's the 60 foot one? It's 120 feet. Uh, 60 foot cylinder. Okay. So centered on the glow wing or this uh, specter? Spectre's on the ground? No, no it's Spectre's going on onto the... the. It's going onto the golden wing. Okay. It's big. Oh, wait, hold on. I am actually stupid. Why? I could have jumped onto that roof from here. Because I can reach 10 feet in the air, like with my arms, and I could jump 18 feet with a running start thanks but, to my boots. But can you do a pull up? I have a question. I mean, a pull-up is one of the things that typically assumed an adventurer can do. 20. Unless you're like a centaur. No, no, no. Val here does CrossFit, okay? Okay, so we there. Oh! Do you have boots of springing and striding? Yes. So over here is my 20. So if I did... So if I put it over here... Then the 60 foot range. Hear someone? Please, please, yeah, please okay. don't make it more difficult for me to climb up to that building. What is she casting? Call, uh, lightning. call lightning, but she's trying to determine where she uh, wants to place it because this map is way bigger than 60 feet. So the place will that matter for once. We'll do that. This one here. I recommend you move it over personally because it doesn't hurt anybody until you call it in down. It just that's the range that you're maximum allowed to do it in. It only does five feet from where the lightning hits, right? So if yeah, you get so 60 I personally feet would more, call it like here. Yeah, on top oh, of us all okay. because that's what I just don't wanna happen. I just don't wanna hit everybody. No no that's not how the get hit out of time. <laughs> yeah. Oh that's why I'm doing all this shit. Y'all could have said something. Well, or, I don't know what your pro or, process is. You also just learn, yeah, you can learn the spell too. You've only been playing D D for like a year now. Um alright. So yeah, you have general reach over the rooftops. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, that's it. Are you gonna call the lightning? Yes, I'm gonna call the- Oh, do I have to- It's an action <laughs> next it's, uh, it's an action- It's an action, and then- Yeah, let me roll the dice. Action? Yeah. You can't do it this turn. Oh, no, really? you can, it's part it. of casting it. Oh, okay. Oh, yep. I thought so. I At least I'm pretty sure it is. On next turn, then it's an action to use it. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna roll. It's a dex, it's a 16 for save. Um, for everybody there. And who are you targeting? The so, Inspector? Yeah. Okay. What was the... No, stop. Just chill out, child. What are you talking about? It's thunder damage, I can just do the max. Uh, yeah, you can. You have the option to do that. We're gonna do that. No. Sorry, so I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to the baby. 40 uh, damage, that's 40 damage. Okay, but I need to roll a save. Yes, you do. Uh, dexterity? Yes. 16. Yeah, that's a resounding no. I'll take 40 damage. Sweet. Um, is it within... Within five feet of the target, right? Uh, that takes damage with them? Yes. Ten feet tall with a six feet. It's five feet range, I believe. Yeah, five feet range. Thank you. That's good, because then you're not going to hit Doug by accident. Good. Alright, anything else from Hubble? Nine. Do you see that it is your turn, Doug? No. You might want to verify your install yes. later. Okay. 
All right, so hear you love. five, ten, fifteen, and eh, twenty. And I'm gonna jump onto the roof, roof running up with my boots. He's gonna want to run around. I don't really want to do that. So just one second there, Doug. 25 dirty. Yeah, he's not in the mood to sit on my lap today. <laughs> Alright, uh, so you just jumped up on the roof? Yeah. Cool. Uh, I have 10 feet of movement left. I think. Yeah, um... If I jump across to like here, would that be like five, ten feet of movement? If you were to jump from here to here? Yeah, would that be like ten feet? Yeah, pretty much. Alright. Boop! I would also like to rage. I had another barbarian when did that happen? Also, yeah, while I'm raging, I have a question about my storm aura. Is it per barbarian level or just like XP level? That's okay, the damage. Give me one second because I'd have to look. Because um, it's like it says like damage based on your level, and it's like third one d six, tenth two d six. What is this? Uh, he has an aura, storm aura. I do believe from being a thunder something. Oh wait, no, from being lightning cleric, isn't it? Nope, barbarian. Is it barbarian? Oh, why are you an unassigned character? Am I unassigned? Yeah, you're you unassigned. unassigned. Oh, I Bella's forgot to still assigned. Oliver is also still underassigned. Unassigned. Really? I thought I claimed him. Uh. Haha, <laughs> I'll claim all of her. What the heck, Dandy Beyond? Why you be frozen? Huh. Apparently I didn't. He's claimed now. I'll claim Val here while I'm at it. <laughs> nah. Can't. Already got him. Yoink, he's mine. Uh, which area did you choose for Storm Herald? C. Uh, it's based on your class level. So, like, how much level I have in Barbarian? Yes. Okay, so it'd only be an additional 1d6, okay. Alright, so I have 6, really? So, he... <laughs> He needs to make a DC 15 dexterity save. This guy? Sorry. This yeah, because it's within 10 feet. Yeah, that guy. Uh, if you could just give me one minute, because yep. my Microsoft Edge just decided to die. Oh. So I don't have any character sheets. <laughs> okay. It died successfully. We're good. Um, <laughs> Dex save... Put 15? Yeah. Saves. Alright, half damage. Three damage. Lightning. He kind of looks up and like, you get like, you hear a grumble sound. You get the feeling that it was, I don't see a goddamn, I didn't see a gosh darn lightning storm before you guys got here. But... <laughs> This guy doesn't speak a language you speak. So you didn't actually hear that. But I felt like it needed to be input. What does he speak? Yeah. It's probably business. more like mental stuff. Oh, it's mental communication? No. What if I know oh. the language? You don't know language. Okay. I know abyssal. It's, not it's abyssal. okay. In a few levels, I start speaking every language. <laughs> it's not an actual language. He's just crumbling. Ah. <laughs> And he doesn't well, actually speak. Don't say Anything he's else? speaking a okay. language we don't understand. When a bunch of us have different languages that we understand. Um, hold on. I'll I am the DM. I am all my damn it. 
<laughs> With my understanding of beasts, do I, I mean, understand that point. this you is just take... a beast griping about shit? Yeah, you could take like 15 d6 sassing the DM damage. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh... You roll sass damage? Oop. Uh, if I feel like it, otherwise I just kill the character. I just look up their current hit points. Does he come here for a sec? Really quick? Uh, sure. One second, guys, sorry. I just do damage equal to their class level. I'm gonna ask if you can do that. What? Who's asking for you to do this? I'll do Becky. Becky. Oh my she god, saw... Becky! <laughs> I knew a bitch named Becky. Yes. Boom, 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 boom. She had a hand. Boom, boom, boom. Oh my boom. god. Look at that Look at posterior. That posterior. <laughs> it's so beautifully oh, round. Oh, she says on a show. Uh, if you guys show. haven't seen Gorgeous Freeman, fucking watch it. It's amazing. <laughs> my Anaconda. Yeah, don't don't fuck <laughs> 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 Wilson! Oh, yeah. Sorry, you're right, Wilson! Wilson! <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, if people haven't seen Gorgeous Freeman, go watch it. It's amazing, and I wish he would make more episodes. Uh, just, is that the like power armors for pussies? Yes. <laughs> power armors for pussies. Uh, Glomwing. There's a big bear in its face now. It can actually do things. Cool. Uh, one. Uh, two. One, two, three, four. And stop floating, damn it. Why are you so floaty? Uh, is it this here? Nope, that was shift. So you get for not using a real keyboard. I remember when monks could make 20 attacks around. Wow. Wait, how many mm -hmm. attacks around? How many attacks around could a monk make in 3.5? Uh, this flurry of blows double that, as I recall. They would yeah. get to uh, four um. attacks on a full attack. Uh, and Blows would double that. Yes. Me. Uh, the crazy glowing rat goes to bite you. So okay. Hit. Meets it, meets it. Love. Wow. You have what a DC the... roll, you could, AC roll you could have added, but. Actually. Well, she did let me know the total, not the die. That's her fault, she did not let you know the die. It's okay. It's okay. Like, yeah, it does. To be honest, he I has forgot. Nine, he had uh, it. Not nine. I forgot he had it too. She's a 9 to a 17! Holy crap! I don't know if your dice can actually save you here. Uh, well, it could if you AC, a 9 or a 10. No. She wouldn't actually uh, know that it has a plus 8. Yeah, yeah. He, would have, he would have been able to roll a 1 on the die and saved as you met it. So yes, the die did matter in this time. Please make sure you keep an eye on who has my uh, bard dice. But I didn't use it, but now we know he has a plus eight to hit. Yup. <laughs> yeah, you know that now. It's almost as strong as Alex, except for not quite. Um, gonna be a 18 piercing damage. I have a plus nine to so hit. Eight, no, nine piercing damage, got it. And then he uh -oh. is going to swipe at you with his claws, and that is going to be an... What's the... on the die? On the dice. On the... Thing. Um, yeah, no, his bite attack has a plus eight. We don't know about his claws. They're generally the same. It's so I'm gonna attack. chance it and not my use it. The same. I'm gonna chance it and not use it. 16 to hit. Okay, it's a plus eight. Alright, I'm good. And it looks at you, and it doesn't look too, like, you know, happy, but, like, it's there, staring at you menacingly. It's just standing there, menacingly. <laughs> Flemington. So, I'm gonna flanking. You have flanking. I'm gonna hit him with my battle axe. So I have advantage, right? Using your battle what? Battle my battle tax. tax, sorry. Um, <laughs> I have advantage, right? You have advantage. Uh, that's gonna be a 13 to hit. That will fail. That, and I'm no longer invisible. Hi! Uh, greater invisibility, I think, lets you keep your invisibility. No, because that's my action to keep it up. Ah. Uh. You know, the action I just... <laughs> no, no, I got that. 
Uh... Oh no! I can maintain concentration on it! Yeah. You're it's better than invisibility. You invisible until the spell ends. Anything the target is running or carrying is invisible as long as it's on the target's person. A force spell concentration. Yeah, I'll just keep concentrating on it. Um, You can attack with that one on as well. Yeah. Which you just did. Yeah, yeah. that's lovely. Cool, that's not overpowered. Go ahead. Um, question. Well, it's a high level question spell. for rules. Does Doug have advantage even though no one knows I'm there? I bet you that's probably going to be down to house rules. Because, you know, I highly You are gone. Blanking in and of itself is a house rule already, so. Oh, is it? Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's listed as an optional rule. Yeah. yeah. And you are God. So. I am God. I could um, see something is attacking you it and go, hmm. she's not God. There are gods here, and she is above them. It's true. And she I is the one above God. all. Um, but. I'm gonna go ahead and say that Fluffington is overpowered enough as it is, and Invisible Fluffington does not allow you to have flanking because you don't actually know he's there. Aww. But you get flank. You get the benefits by the sounds of things with the other person. He has I guess, it because he knows that his ally is there. I guess that'd be way that too is strong. Fair. If I could well, just be invisible behind creatures given flanking all day long. Exactly. Okay, I, I understand why. Go ahead. Okay, so I've moved 25 feet. I'm going to drop off of here. It is a 30-foot drop. Um, I reduce any fallen damage I take by 50 right now, so I don't think I can actually take damage from that drop. Ah, didn't think you did. 30, 40, 45, 50. I am going to spend a key point and a bonus action to use Step of the Wind. Uh, where's right. my key points? Which means I get to move again. I'm going to... I measured this as 25 feet up here. 30... 35... 40... 45... 50... Um, not there. There. I will get it eventually. I should technically be one slightly lower, but it doesn't seem to want to do it. Um, I think that's probably because my token is not quite centered on its box. There. There you go, I got it him. Yeah. Sorry. But the bad guy wasn't actually in his square. He was in a little bit of that square, so I didn't like it. Okay. Well, I am going to punch this guy. He looks affronted. Um <laughs> go ahead and roll the hit. Uh that is a wow. natural twenty, and I'm gonna be spending two key points on this. Alright. One for Stunning Strike, and one for um, for Hand of Harm. Can you use multiple techniques in the same hit like that? Yep. No. Uh, I you not. Ordinary, um, it is when you hit a creature with an unarmed strike, you can spend one key point to deal the extra damage for Hand of Harm. And Stunning Strike is when you hit something, you can spend the key points for it. Interesting. It doesn't, as far as I've been able to tell, there isn't a limit to how many you can use. I'm gonna double check it though. Don't remember ever seeing. Just because that seems kind of really good. But... The most thing is it takes double the key points to yeah. get. There is nothing limit. preventing you from spending key points in multiple ways per turn, provided you can take the actions that spend them. Okay. Yeah, which yeah, I can. Of them. So we are doubling the weapon dam. Oh uh, no, it's no, it's doubling the dice. Okay. So, for my fist on the crit, that is going to be... Uh, that seems um, broken. It's not. It's fine, he's got a, probably a huge health pool. We're level 10 characters, we're supposed to do some stuff. Oh, so how many key points do you have a day? 10, per yeah. short rest. Yeah, that's not great. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first off... Um, one, three, and then the two and the five will be the necrotic damage. So that is going to be seven, ten necrotic damage. And then um, one and three plus five is going to be nine, nine points of magical bludgeoning damage. Sorry? 
It is magical bludgeoning? Yes, my fists are counts as magical weapons. Okay, so it was 10 necrotic. Yep. And 9 magical bludgeoning. Yeah. Um, and additionally, he needs to make a saving throw. Yeah, what type of saving throw? I will double check. He needs to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, what's the DC on that? 15. I'm gonna go ahead and say that wasn't a success. He is stunned until the end of my next turn. Hmm. That's unfortunate. I'm then going to quickly, with my second attack, whip around and try and strike this guy. Excellent. Uh, old hit. Okay, and I do not get to use an act, use hand of harm because that is once per turn, unless I do specific things, which I can't do right now. No. That is a sixteen plus nine, uh, so about a few. To hit? Yeah, twenty-five to hit. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so that is just going to be. 4 plus 5, 9 points of bludgeoning damage. And your bludgeoning is always magical. Yeah. My unarmed strikes are always magical. It's probably a good thing, this level. Yeah. Alright, anything else from Oliver? <laughs> no, that is used literally every action to get over <laughs> here into the thick of this. <laughs> Alrighty then. Your precious pet has died again. Yeah. Heal him! Heal yeah, him. basically two more sharp shots going at him, because, okay, what does stun do for hitting him? Does it help at all? Uh, I believe. Advantage. Is Aizen dead or bleeding out? Aizen's not a character, Aizen just died. Ah, uh, rip. X1 <laughs> is only broken and I can fix him within the next hour. But Aizen just can die. Hunt. Uh, the creature is incapacitated, can't move, can't speak. Uh, it automatically fails strength and dex saves, and all attack rolls have advantage. Awesome. Yep. Just checking so, with. you have advantage on your shots. It auto fails. Strength uh, saves. Auto fail, strength and uh, dex saves. I so I'm gonna cast a third level in staring strike because that's a strength save. <laughs> so the next one of these things, this is gonna be a sharp shot. The next one that hits will put its effects on. That's a uh, 14 to hit on that one. It's not gonna work. No. Oh, okay. But that's a natural 20 on this yeah, one. that'll work. Kay. Sadly, it doesn't dam double the sharp shot damage. No, or the spell damage. Um, it so does 12 plus double 17. incidental damage, but I think the spell is considered separate from the attack. Yeah, the spell doesn't make the attack. The spell just happens on my next attack. So that was... 29? 29 damage. Like, Plus I know it, it auto fails a strength save, so now it's tangled up in vines. When restrained I know it's by it. Restrained on top of being stunned? Uh, yeah, it's now restrained, but, um. Yes, it's restrained until the spell ends. A larger, larger creature has advantage on the saving throw, but it still failed it, anyways. Uh, upon being restrained and at the start of each of its turns, it takes 3d6 damage because I third leveled it. So that is 6 piercing damage. Uh, and it is obviously magical. Well, yeah, it's a spell, I assume it is. And so now it can use its action to make a strength check against my spell save DC. And not a success it's like, no, because it's stunned. <laughs> Only yeah. until the end of my next turn. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that that, like, I get dead turn. by them. Um, that was my bonus action. I'm gonna go. If I can click on me, there we go. No, that's not me. Let's try again. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, 
four, five, six. I'm just kind seven, of realizing eight, what that nine. must have looked like with Oliver's approach. <laughs> just fucking, you see him on top of the roof, drop down, run up the wall, go around and throat punch a guy. <laughs> <laughs> and then quite enjoy I, it. Well, not yeah, really throat yeah, punch, like more like throat turn. finger strike a guy. You, you punched his kidneys. You, you kidney punched it. Mm, Alright, no. so on his turn, he can't use his action to take the save against Alex's damage because he is stunned. So therefore, Alex, you're gonna- That was his roller. turn? It's his well, turn. Yeah. The damage happens at the start, so yeah. you take it anyways. That's 11 more piercy damage. So he's constricted, and those of you standing next to him, you hear, like, the strange bonishness and gore that makes him up welch and crack as the uh, vines restrict him, and he just kind of, like, lets out a low, painful, pain-filled moan. Evidently, I didn't stun him hard enough. Do it again! <laughs> hey, you can, you can chain those together. It's end of your next turn, right? Correct. If only it was a strength save and you could just maintain stun. It's a con save. It's even better yes. than a strength save. Well, the thing is, it auto fails strength saves while it's stun. Oh yeah, no, that'd be broken though. <laughs> yeah, it would be terribly broken. But that would be actually broken. <laughs> All right, Hubble, what would you like to do? Um, more lightning. Uh, be careful, as everybody is within five feet of things, so... Hit, hit the guy next to me, I, I'm confident I can dodge lightning. Okay. You shoot the specter, Ian is confident he can dodge, and then you don't you know it, I can... but there's two allies beside, or three allies beside the other guy. So okay, so right. we're gonna hit the specter then. Yeah. What, wait, what's your DC? 16. Oh yeah, no, I can make that and I'll take no damage because I'm a... because <laughs> I have evasion. <laughs> and the Spectre automatically fails a deck save, so... Yeah, so I uh, need to make a decent... I just uh, make... You can't do that, you can only do that once per long rest, I think. Oh, really? Oh, it's um, I actually energy. managed to fail it. Wait, do I have advantage <laughs> on deck saves? Uh -oh. Do I have to roll a deck save? Uh, no, no, you're far enough away. It's just okay. Ian. Um, uh, yeah. no, I managed to fail that, so I take half damage. <laughs> so yeah, you've got to roll your damage, but, okay. uh, yeah, the, uh, max damage on Thunder and Lightning is, uh, once per long rest. Wasn't it 4d10? Yeah, I missed one, so it's 18. Let's add one more to that. Uh, 28. 28. 28? So okay. lightning comes down and shocks this dude, and uh, take 14 points of damage. <laughs> and as the bolt strikes down from the sky, it collides with the thorny, seeping mass that was once a specter, and the specter explodes in a lovely fizzle of lightning and gross decay. And as the nectar explodes, the mount roars viciously, crying out in um, unexpected pain. And they both oh. die. They both die? Well, yeah, when you kill oh, a dragon's no. rider, so too dies its dragon. Hmm. I'm Man, quick... movie. I don't know if you base this on Aragon, but <gasps> this is what I'm fantastic. seeing. The movie. Mm. I, um... This is a Ravnican uh, thing. I was concerned that some of you might actually know too much about it. It's not in the monster manual. I just exploded a dude. I did a six worth of damage that entire fight. I'm sorry. You got on the roof though. You did make it to the roof. Yeah, I'm just gonna. What? I'm moving. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look over at Val here. So how are you getting down from here? <laughs> I'm gonna just do jump. that and just roll out of it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah. Superhero. I superhero well, land. Here, I think you probably took damage. There. Or see, you'll know I'm here. I'm invisible. I am going to it's expend fine. a I'm first level fine. spell slot to fix. I'm actually gonna. Can, can I? Dude. Oh, sorry. Yeah. You fell 25 feet, so you're gonna take a couple bludgeoning damages. It's like two. Yeah. So, um. Halved. 
Since, I'm still raging. Damage Since these guys exploded, did any cool looking bits go flying somewhere with loot that I could oh, jump? The, the mount didn't explode. The mount. Uh, one second here. Uh. Okay. Before we go looking around, I have a very important question. Do you have Revivify prepped? Yeah, I do. Okay, I'm gonna hand her one of those diamonds I have and get dies and rezzed pretty please. Just, 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 I think this is like a secret code between them now. He just hands her a diamond and points in, <laughs> points in the direction of Aizen and she's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, as the mount roared out its pain and sadness, it disintegrated from the inside in ashy fire. Mm. I'm gonna quickly, um... <laughs> but are there interesting bits? Uh, no. That one disintegrated, the other one exploded. Valkyr okay. looks really pissed off. He didn't get to fight anything, he's just gonna storm this way over into the field. I invisibly make my way over here, DM. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. What do I see? I see a trapdoor. Do I see those gaps in the air? Mm -hmm. Uh, you see a bunch of, like, sunken in, like, pits what looks to be some sort of room below and a trap door that was probably hey, the only way hey, to get in there at one point there just just so you know you don't see me <laughs> he's I know. yeah no yeah. he's, while, he's um, oh, storming over while all that's going on and they're resurrecting Aizen, I am gonna say I'll be with him in a second once you've got him up and I'm just gonna be taking I'm gonna reach it into um, that weird chest that I grabbed the mugs from before and grab from the other half of it the Sun side and just grab out some bandages, and I'm just bandaging up my electrical burns. Okay. So that um, is going to be... You're the one with the crazy passive perception, right, Ian? Yep. Okay. You hear, like, odd, like... Oh, ten. it's almost wind, but it's not in the way that, like, uh, certain things sound like, you know, wind, but not wind. It's... it's... I actually don't know Can what you, you mean. <laughs> what you're starting to say, though. What's Ian's passive perception? Like, 21? 22? Wow. Carrie's passive perception is 20. What, what are you like trying a, to say? Like a... Uh, it's a low whirring noise. noise that isn't quite wind, but sounds similar. Like a buzzing so noise? So, it's a ghost wooing? I'm not going to confirm or deny oh, that gosh. statement. I, I, I made the noise. I opened the door. Heard. I like uh, and this. I, I'm gonna walk over to Aizen once you've got him up, by the way. Ooh, as soon as I see the door open on its own, I just immediately just like... Yeah, he's up. Just like, stance up, There's like, funny what noises the fuck is here. that? And I have Okay. Him. Is Aizen picked up? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm up. gonna grab more bandages and a couple of other little chemical concoctions and just, um... Go up to Aizen, and I'm like, this, sh this should work? I was too big I, to fit in the door, so I I'm just not a down vet, here. but, um, yeah. I'll fix Aizen. And that's gonna be seven hit points for Aizen. <laughs> Alright. Hey, bear. Um, hey, bear. Bear. Uh, I'm gonna poke the bear in the shoulder and run away. Can we oh. let me heal up the, the thing yeah, before you we continue on? Yeah, you said. I, I'm still doing, I've got a lot of healing. <laughs> yep. How bad is Aizen looking? Still. He's at 8 out of 28. Uh, where's Hand of Healing? Okay, I'm just gonna- can I just spend like a quick 3 key points while they're walking over? I can give him 10 off of a single spell slot. Yeah, I'm not using spell slots though. What are you using? Hand of Healing. Cool. So that is gonna be 10 plus 12 is 22 hit points for 3 key points. 22. Alright, Aizen's capped out. Yeah, he's um, got some bandages on him, a, a little bit of a mini splint. <laughs> I'm just saying, as soon as he got touched and before they ran away, he would have zapped whatever touched him as they touched him with lightning. And I'm reading this aura, I don't need to see them. No, he did get in your auras field. Yeah. So uh, dexterity 15 saving throw, please. Make a dex save From... to get out of the aura before you get zapped. <laughs> yeah. From who? 
from me. Uh, I still got, I'm still raging. Twenty one. Uh, Twenty one. Yeah, you're fine. Just like yeah. as you pull your hand away, just like some like lightning crackles to where you were. I'm not an insulator, so. <laughs> you mean you're not a conductor? Yeah. What do we see down here? Well, what do I see down here? Because I am totally alone and I can't see anyone else here. Because I'm actually pretty sure invisibility will be just wearing off now. It's only last for a minute. Yeah, as you guys are getting over here, you see like something start to materialize next to you. Okay. And um, as you all get into here, you see um, what looks to be a deteriorating old lab of some sort um being somebody who has sorts of magic that you deal with you would probably say that it's something closer to like very archaic wizard equipment anything more than that i'm gonna get you to actually investigate i don't know shit i'm gonna um, um... Magic's not really my thing. Skeleton. I go to the bed. Does it look like it hasn't slept in recently? Is it dusty? Um, the bed is rotting away. Okay. But are there, is there dust on the sheets? Is there dust on the wood? There's dirt all over it from that seems to be falling from the um, not so well supported ceiling above. And it does not look like it's been touched in a very long time. Thank you. After patching up Aizen, I wander over to where the rest of the party went. I grab the skeleton and just pick it up, shake it a bit, anything other than bones drop from it. Um, as you go to pick it up, uh, the bones, they're not solid. They start to just deteriorate, fall to dust in your hands. That was a person, you know. Was. Was. Uh, I can't do anything for him. Anything of note around, on or around where the skeleton was? Like I any like pouches containing anything? The skeleton's lying next to a cauldron. Um, the cauldron looks oh, to shit, be right. empty, but it has, like, very, like, it has residue in it that is more of like a powder than an actual like viscous residue. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chug one of my healing potions because I need to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it again? Forty-four plus four. Dry right here. <laughs> Seventeen. Okay, perfect. I'm at like full health. No big deal. And like, I'm just gonna like pull out a random claw from my backpack and just like dry the inside of it and scoop any of the residue I can into the empty vial. Um, you're... If that's even possible for me to do. Hmm, interesting. So you're trying to pull the powder from the inside of the cauldron into an empty vial? Just like, I'm not gonna touch it directly, but see if I can just like shift the cauldron allow, um, around so it's like collected at the bottom then just scoop the depending on how much just scoop the vial into it see if i can get some a dexterity check yeah. not a save a check uh could i get a little help with this my hands are fingers, big <laughs> I could help I... with it. I'm great at the dex thing. I'll head over All there right, and help. Tell him what I was doing, and I hand him the vial, and I'll like shimmy around the cauldron to help him and give him advantage. Now I have a mild problem. Yes. I, I can't get the guy. ground to disappear. So oh. um, there's a green bar on, or a green diamond. On yes. the sidebar. I've literally dropped that to the floor now. Um, click on your token so that the camera is actually centered on it, then bring it down. It's working for me. Yeah, it worked fine for me too. I work differently because I'm the DM. I can drop it. I can uh, make buildings disappear without my token, without having a token. Okay. I don't always have one. I'm going with work? plan B. I can't find me. 
Uh, you are... Uh, oh no, okay, I can find me, I just can't move me. Wait, um... Okay, I can move like that and I have the cutaway box. Oh, oh right. I just, I just made it inside. Okay, I'm successfully here. Cool. Uh, Where are we doing I'll stuff? Over here? here? There's yeah, a weird oh, ladder. Like, I tell him what I, what we should do, and I'm like positioning the, the cauldron. I've around. actually been listening on you guys the whole time. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I I hand him the empty vial and like position the cauldron and start shimming it so any powder will be collected. Did poisoner kit help me with this collection. the help but i'd say that your skill with poison would lower the would probably lower the difficulty of this for you would my alchemy kit help he already has advantage maybe the roll will get lower well maybe uh, i can like get well, my proficiency on it in some way you've got like so many hands in there you're, you're gonna start lowering your chances of being able to do it too many cooks in the kitchen I am a big bear. So there is a bear. Um, I, I think that uh, you're. I think I should just roll, uh, and we'll be done with it. Here. Who's rolling, me or Doug? Uh, you. you I only right. have left plus two. Wow, those dice went somewhere I didn't think they would. <laughs> yeah, they left. That's a true well. twenty plus an eight. Yeah. Um, you're able to collect a reasonable sample of the powder, although you. No, actually, I'm gonna make you actually look at it. Alright. I'm gonna hand it back to the bear. <laughs> and then go away before he, like, spills it and kills us all. I cork it and put it in my pouch. Okay. What should I add to my... I'm gonna um, add a custom vial of powder. Um, yeah. Add custom mysterious powder. And then if you can make a note and uh, just note um, farmhouse cellar. You should snort it. <laughs> Maybe it's like the mysterious murder goo. Please, That's only an idiot would it. touch something that they don't know what it is. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> just at a glance, does the thing look more magical or alchemical in nature, the stuff that was in the potion? Uh, somebody who's used a cauldron a reasonable amount, uh, you think that whatever was that potion was, it was reduced to nothing more than, um, like, comp like, just a remnant of it at this point, as, uh, based on the look of the powder and the way it is a powder and not a residue, um, it's probably been there for a very long time. But do I think it's magical or alchemical in nature? Uh, you can't tell. Fair enough. Are these zappy zappies actually zappying, or is it just... They are zappying. Aren't they pretty? Yeah, um, Valkyrie is just gonna play with electricity for a bit. Yeah. Valkyrie just roll it, me. just roll it between his fingers. It seems Chuck like a lot it of fun. Sand. You're kind of sad that you don't have one of these at home. <laughs> yeah, I'm very sad. <laughs> Can you, like, arc it between his fingers and just walk up to the rest of the group? Are there any, like, notes and the like that I can look for down here? Uh, make me an investigation check. Ooh, I'm not good at those. Wait, did Bree say something? Uh, did Bree say something? Bree did say something. Bree said he doesn't have fingers yet. I do have a passive of 16, but that's a 14, and we're not counting passives. No. Claws, no, I will. I will give you at least your passive. Um, Claws. Most of the paper is, like, it, it's covered in dirt and uh, has been wet a considerable amount in its lifetime. Um, most of the ink on it is completely smudged away, papers deteriorating in your fingers. Um, actually, even the table you're standing at as you went to pick up, you touch the wood and the wood isn't solid anymore. It's almost rotten. Okay, I'm just going to continue searching the area for anything of note. <laughs> you notice, like, a couple pieces of, uh, like, interesting metal equipment that you think might be salvageable? 
but other than that, there's books and equipment, and the majority of it is just falling apart in your fingers. What nature uh, of, of metal equipment? Like, alchemical, or uh, uh, medical, um... I kinda go with alchemical, uh, alchemical, but, um... I I'm surprised nobody's noticed this yet. I'm gonna actually just let you guys keep looking around. <laughs> I mean, I know there's the chest, but I assume my search included that. Oh, I thought you were looking at the papers. Oh no, I said I was expanding my search at this point. Oh, just okay. Then you do notice a chest. Yeah. I'll oh shit, I didn't even notice the chest. I'll take a peek in the chest. I like chests. Inside the chest uh, has a finer layer of dirt within it than the rest of the room did. Except for, uh, it's there's a fine layer of dirt across the whole thing, and then a square in the center that looks less, um, dirty than the like rest there was of the something chest. That like was there was something dirty. sitting in the middle of the chest. It was square shaped. Um, I forget. Um, the owner came with us, right? Uh, yep, he's waiting with the cart right now. Okay. But he hasn't actually seen this property before. Oh. Okay, um... I'm assuming I don't see a square thing that looks like it would be about the right size for this? you wander the room, you don't find the square-shaped object. Okay. They were perched on top of the house, right? Uh, the bad guys? Yeah. Yep, when you came up, they were perched at the vantage point at the back of the house. Although, I will make a note that they did not attack anybody until you crossed the property line. Uh-huh. Um... We I don't really got much to go on, guys. Line. Does anyone else here have any leads? I'm asking this in character. <laughs> well, here just looks at Oliver with... <laughs> in the... He just... He's just playing with electricity? No. This is this is above me. I don't know what half of this stuff is. And he's just gonna walk out. And I'm new. You know but as you magic? wander towards the table, you do see some um, equipment that, based on uh, what you've seen in Cinda's lab, you think is um, similar, if not more archaic. Okay, and if I've seen it in her lab, what does she do with this equipment? You've seen it in her lab, you didn't see her using it. You left very shortly after your creation. Okay, so unfortunately I'm going to just skim past that because it's not meaningful to my character. I don't know, dude. I, I'm like, what, a week old at most? It, it doesn't seem interesting to me. He's looking for shiny things. <laughs> Uh, I don't suppose any of you know much about magic. It's not really my area of expertise. Uh, There's some alchemical stuff here, but... It's kind of all broken down to the point where I can't get much out of it. Uh, Is there anything shiny here on these tables? Um, some of the equipment looks like it may have once been shiny, but it's very tarnished at this point. Cool. Ush, anything? Any knowledge in magic? Well, I have a plus one to Arcana. So do I. <laughs> yeah, I got uh, nothing. I, down to it, I have a plus three in Arcana, actually. I have a plus Your magical three. person is the bard. <laughs> Not true, I'm an artificer, I can identify shit. I'm gonna poke things with my nose and my wings, trying to figure out what this is. I lose interest Should in touching stuff. stuff. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Um, Should I roll Arcana to see if I can figure out what it does? Yeah, I'll give you Arcana for that. Well, if you want to give me a better stat, Arcana's on my lowest. Dragon. Ah, just touch any everything, and while you're touching cool, it, it's a seven. you will cast Detect Magic. It's a seven. You're casting seven. Detect Magic? <laughs> I'm gonna Ritual Cast Detect Magic, because I have that. Um, with the seven? Yep. Uh, you recognize um, Potioneer's equipment, uh, a little bit more advanced than the average Potion Master, more alchem alchemical in nature, um, but... Why isn't Ian's character over here freaking this out then? 
he went over there, but it's older equipment and nothing that he could really investigate. I have a question. Oh, not his. Like, I guess he's kind of potiony, but yeah. I can make potions. Some of them. Yeah. I knocked everything off the table. <laughs> Are there spoons around? Uh, you know what? One moment. You find exactly five spoons. I'm gonna give them to Fluffington. Are they shiny or are they not shiny? They are not shiny. I will refuse to take them and say thank you anyways. I'm gonna look at them. Um, are they metal? Just corroded? They're tarnished metal. I'm gonna grab one and just grab the scumble out of my backpack and see if high proof alcohol can clean this. <laughs> we are now experimenting with spoons. No, I'm just testing something. It's an experiment. This is incredibly high proof alcohol. Okay. Um. You're just cleaning a thing. There's not really much I can make you roll for this. Your very high proof alcohol seems to take off some of the like scum and remnants that are on it, but it's still looking tarnished. It doesn't look. I need some proper shiny. metal polish. You probably need some sort of polish. Okay, if you, I'm sorry, but you 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 got into a dead end, so you, you're gonna have to drop no, it. In. I, I've got I've got a theory. Okay. There's an entire building we have. There's a couple. Of yeah, buildings. there's an entire building that's there. Yeah. There's also yes, like, detect but, magic but... that's gonna go off eventually. Val <laughs> here's just gonna look down from one of the holes in the ceiling. Guys, why do we care about this? Because I have the suspicion that this is gonna be a recurring problem if we don't look around a little. The, the GM clearly we, wants us to figure out something here, unfortunately. We need a hint. We're, we're only like, getting Your detect paid. magic goes off, and Yay. you get that feeling of something awful. Something that should never exist. Something that you never want to feel again. Coming from this general area, What's cool? as well as a lot of like necromancy and that kind of jazz. Did we look at what was in the box? Yes, they were looking. Yeah, there was. An... So, is the body lighting up then? Um, the cauldron is lighting up with like just magical remnants, potiony stuff. Not a specific school, but like okay. there was magic here. Uh, the body is—you get that like disgusting necromancy stuff. Necromancy, but worse. Like you've handled like walking into a necromancer. A zombie wouldn't really bother you. But this is like, ungodly, this shouldn't belong type of thing. And the box is worse. Oh. I'm gonna go look in the box. What's in the box? Nothing is in the box, except for dirt. Yeah. But your detect magic, the square of not as dirty stuff is what's causing the most adverse reaction to you. I you don't want to be close to it. I knocked over the cauldron. The cauldron that, door. Oh. Do you know what? Has anyone touched the dirt yet? No. I'm gonna DM. pick the dirt up and smell it. DM. <laughs> DM, you're being cold. Yes. Val here is just gonna go on an enthusiastic walk around the property. Cool. Okay. Um, as you, you can continue with their stuff. To... As you get close to the uh, to the back to the farmhouse, let me know. Okay. Um, yeah, you're picking up what dirt? The dirt in the, the box. The very offensive magic dirt. I want to pick it up and smell it and see what it smells like. Bubble is going to stand you behind. you the dirt out of the square in the middle, uh, you realize that the dirt isn't the offensive part. It is the cloth of the box that feels offensive. And it's, it's kind of like it's by contamination. As in, there is a residue of horrible evil here. Wait, not well, there is horrible. We're being evil. offended by a box. <laughs> He's, this box has offended us. We're being offended by a cloth inside a box. Can we burn the box? A cloth. The like history a of the cloth. The box the box the farm. What's the cloth smell like? Um, decay cloth. mostly. Um, it's 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 linen and dirt, and like mm. that mold. Like we talking smell. like. Corpse decay, uh, kind of stuff. Or? It's more box decay, wood wood rot, organic uh, decay, like, organic decay, but not like corpse decay. Not the distinct the... living thing rotting away. Yeah, you you think that the abhorrent magic that you feel 
is not causing the smell. All right. But there is a fuck ton of neck here. Oh yeah, the the shelves, the the. Okay, so the this is lighting up with different subjects of magic. Um, lots of what's the protection magic? Somebody quickly. Abjuration. 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 Uh, a few layers of abjuration across here. Um, this is lighting up with evocation magic. All of the ones that are going off. Um, these guys have like more basic magic residues, but in like the potiony type things. So I don't know what school potions actually register as, but like magic potions. Um, and then the cauldron necromancy and potiony stuff. The body necromancy, like mad. It, it it's it's one of those things that feels wrong. Um, and then this is um, necromancy and okay, I'm back. abjuration and evocation, but it's like residue magic, not I'm about to go off magic. Okay. I'm gonna head towards the farmhouse buildings. Did everyone else catch that? Because Josh is relaying it to the party, but Alex does not have the mental continuity to successfully do that. I already left. So should we take the books with us? Might Perhaps be a good idea. Can... Perhaps we can find someone that understands it. <laughs> like, tell us what was in it, at the very least. We have portal magic, we have a past party member that's good at books. We can go talk to Soft! Uh, Y'all do have your things, but it was a very long journey to Ecosia, and there isn't a magic circle to get you back. Alright, I guess we got to wrong. Do we want to get a high level wizard and spend a year making a circle here so we can go back to Colocaster? Uh, do we want to spend a year here? Become farmers? And as you guys are just uh, deciding on that, I'm gonna move over to the farmhouse with the party members who went that way. I went around back. Um, as y'all got closer to, like, the middle area of the farmhouse here, you heard that, like... Uh... Yeah, your mic Can isn't I... picking that up, does. Sorry? Your mic, I, I for the it. most part... I it. Yeah, but for the most part, it it's not. intentionally quiet. I'm trying not to blow people's eardrums, but... Can I use my ears just to kind of follow where in the building it is? You can't use your ears, <coughs> sorry. You're deaf, you though. Me a perception check? With my 22 passive. Oh, yeah. Yeah, your passive is crazy. Uh, yeah, you can, you can definitely roll, use but... ears. I would uh, like... I will, I will give you ears. I, I would like to roll for it, because my passive isn't the best. Okay, you can roll perception. I think you guys came over separately, so... See mm -hmm. if you end up in the same area. <laughs> Eldritch 20. Cool. You both have a feeling that is coming from this section of the house? I can't so, see the flashlight. Yep. Oh, sorry. I'm around back, so I'm probably gonna have to. Uh... Can you just yeah. drop you wherever? I'm just gonna try the door. <laughs> it's like. Uh, where? Oh, oh wait, no, it's right here. Okay. Uh, you try the door. Um, at one point it was probably locked, but it's not anymore, and you're able to pull it open, and you see three spirits of some sort. Um, do they appear hostile? <laughs> No, they look sad. Um, two of I'm... them are smaller. <laughs> you imagine that they weren't quite adults. And it... one of them is older, looks like a woman. And they're like... Yes. Sorry, can you guys hear me? Uh, and I didn't Not quite, quite catch that, but okay, I don't know how long you were talking for. Uh, 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 I need to be able to see my voice. Please help us. We're out of free to lays. Yeah, that'll work. Um, okay, so you get. Please destroy them. We'd like ah. to move on. We don't I'm, I'm, want to linger I, here. I'm just gonna look back at Val here, fetch the cleric. <laughs> I am here. I'm gonna look at him up and down for a second. Huh. 
You might as well grab the rest of them. <laughs> uh, Val here is just gonna take a few steps out and just whistle really loudly, hoping that they can hear. Just, uh, well, I'm not gonna do it, but you know, like the performance the... check. Okay. <laughs> Blows out everybody's eardrums. <laughs> Whist yeah, rolls in that twenty. Okay, Oliver, make me a Constitution saving throw. <laughs> Some <laughs> dust goes up his nose and he sneezes as he's about to do it. Yeah, the fur around his fingers makes that uh, that whistle not work as well. Um, he just he's just gonna yell. It's like main house oh. ghosts. Carrie is up in the air circling. Does she see anything happening there? Uh, she do a bear if Carrie is circling, she sees the the bear shouting. Yeah, to currently have the token sitting like 80 feet in the air, like right above the yeah. cellar door. She she would hear um, Val here shouting and be like, I think your friend's calling you. Sorry, that's not her voice. Master, I think your friend is calling you. Can you go see what he needs? Okay. And then the undead bird flutters down over here somewhere probably and Val here there's, there's, there's a bird in your face <laughs> a bird's just uh... approached you and it just it, it does it like it, it does the head tilt that a dog you. does when it's like like the head tilt human? the head tilt yeah um uh <laughs> if you're with us call the rest of the party we got dead people in here. If you're not, please disregard and have a good day. Uh, <laughs> Carrie nods at you and, like, flutters in to, like, look into, like, the building area. Oh, there's ghosts in here, Master. Hubble, we've got ghosts. We should get, like, to the house. Let's go. They need us. Ghosts. Okay. Yes. I still can't click on myself, so this is probably the most hilarious <laughs> charge to the stairs ever. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just gonna, while they're heading over, I'm just gonna be like, so, who are we? Ghosts. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna look at the ghosts and just go, so, who do you want us to destroy? <laughs> Them, the remnants, they're anchoring us to this reality. Where are they? The, 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 the what? It's on, oh. on the ground. Uh, I don't suppose you got like a map. <laughs> no, no, at least no. a picture. Like, actually, on 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 the ground, like these things. Oh, the corpses! Val here said that was on the ground. <laughs> oh, we gotta burn the bones. Uh, on a scale of one oh. to ten, how destroyed do you like? I'm gonna basically just go to the ghost and just go. So when you say destroy, do you mean, like, with consecration, or can I just, like, knee through the skull? <laughs> yes. I don't know. It would depend what happens after you do whatever I'm you do. I'm gonna go or with the knee through the skull. Stuck. I'm just gonna go with the knee through the skull on the closest one and see what happens. <laughs> There's still a little bit of gooey stuff in there and your pants don't smell very good afterwards. And there's still three ghosts, and they're kind of looking I'm, quizzically at one. The two of them are looking quizzically at the other one, as nothing happened. I'm gonna drag the corpses outside. Before he grabs the last one, I'm gonna shatter. Put them in a pile. It. You're gonna what? Before he grabs the last one, I'm gonna cast Shatter on it. Um... Yeah, that's a thing. Uh, what does Shatter specifically do? A sudden loud ring noise. A sudden loud ring noise, painfully intense, erupts from a point of your choice oh within God. range. Each creature in a 10 foot radius sphere centered on that point must make a constitution saving throw. A creature takes 3d8 to thunder damage on a failed save or half as much on a crystal one. A creature made of inorganic material such as stone, crystal, or metal has disadvantage. A non magical object that isn't being worn or carried, a dead body, uh, also takes this damage if it's in the spell's area. Pretty sure okay. a dead body doesn't count as an object, but that's a bone is an object. object. They're not creatures, so they're objects. No object. It is not a creature. Um, roll me some damage. I want to see how how crazy of a shatter this was. Uh, okay, so how I'm gonna do this? 
is I'm actually going to take this really quick here. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to assume that he gave Are us time gonna, to yeah, get out of here. Of the exactly like that. So I'm currently hitting three bodies. Uh, the other two already dragged out. Uh, yeah, I dragged him out. dragged out the last one. Okay, yeah. cool. So I the table is taking the damage, the cups are taking the damage, the floor, the wall is healing, everything. Um, anyways. Come here, buddy. I, I don't know damage. what you're casting, so. And then Saturday. the moment you cast, I'm going to be like, uh, aren't we supposed to leave this building intact? Yes. He didn't say that, did he? Yes, he did. It, it's kind of implicit. I don't think he uh, actually said to leave the building intact. He wanted his farm back. The nearest ghost to you flickers as uh, you damage this corpse, but it's still like it, it's more faint, but it's still there. Oh, that did something. Again, <laughs> what? Um, I say no. Stop it. We got to burn the bodies. Bone doesn't. That's what I said. Uh, but this maybe, is funner. Maybe, maybe we should listen to the clerics. But this is funner. And it's working. It doesn't matter if it's fun. It respect for the dead. I'm gonna go in the kitchen and find salt. I, I, I argue that it's not respectful. That you're this all, these, all they said is they wanted to be gone. That is their wishes. Yes. So by, it doesn't matter it, if you consider it disrespectful. They just want to be gone. They're considering it disrespectful. I look at the I look at the ghost. You're fine with this. But how you got to get them gone a certain way, not just fuck up their corpse. Little Apparently, one, consider it this the, way. You know what? I'm listening to the ghosty. The ghosty said it's working. Uh, would, would any... Well, would, yeah. would, what religious knowledge I have let me know of a good way to get rid of a ghost that's anchored to this world? I've got a little bit of religious knowledge, not okay, a lot. Got an, yeah, religious knowledge. The clerics are probably on the right path with their supernatural approach of salt and fire. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, yep. I know that... <laughs> Where in the monastery I'm from, dead bodies usually need to be buried a certain way or else bad things happen. Maybe it's like that? This just well, seems like you're just scattering bits of them all over the place and... You gotta bury them a certain way as soon as they die so the um, spirit can find rest, but if the, go the spirit didn't find rest, then the body has to be disposed of a certain way. The ghost, he says it's fine though! I already have the ghost over my shoulder, bag of salt, I'm, walking back outside. I mean, the body over your shoulder? <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> stay to Fluffington. I mean, the ghost is fine with it, but you got to admit, they don't seem to know how to free, they didn't really seem to know how to free themselves, so they might not know what it works. It's more they couldn't do anything as their ghost. No, I literally asked and they said I don't know. Because they probably tried a bunch of things and they couldn't find out what worked because they can't do anything. <laughs> Oliver! Can I just I throw, need... <laughs> throw urge to I throw need... punch Fluffington rising? <laughs> Try <laughs> your stumble. Why do you need some of that? It's flammable. You're wasting good booze on that? Good is a relative term. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to throw punch me. <laughs> oh no, throat urge to throat punch him is rising as well. Okay, why can't I throw? I can't. There we go. Alright, fine. I just put him in a pile. I'll, I'll dig a bit. Like, say, right here. I'll dig a little oh, thing wow. right here. Pile them in, salt them, burn them. Like, I have, like, a flint and steel, I think. Yeah, I got a tinderbox. I DM. Okay. Yeah. While I'm in here, do I find anything shiny? I'm checking the rooms. Um, every room. There is a shattered shiny every cup. Every room? I'm going room to room looking for anything that immediately comes to my attention. I'm actually going to join him. I'm looking for more ghosts. Okay. Help, I'm stuck you in a book realize case. that somebody who hired you did buy this house, right? Yes, but that normally doesn't come with the positions inside the house. Uh, also, I'm stuck. Okay, give me a second. This building's not exactly, oh, like, user-friendly. Um, I'm just gonna sit outside. I go through every. I go through every room. When you buy a house, you don't nearly buy the possessions inside of it. So, yes, I'm gonna steal anything. In shiny. the real world, this is. I've been here a week, fam. 
I'm stealing okay. anything. Okay, so you have no idea how buying a house works. But yeah, so he, exactly. So I'm, I, I'm literally different. just searching the house room by room to see if there's any, um... More ghosties? Yeah, more ghosts, spooky, scurry thing. Anything that, like, catches my attention, you know? Before I burn the bodies, I just say, may you find peace. And then as you light the fire and the burn, the bones begin to dis disintegrate, you hear, thank you. I like how they speak clearly sometimes in a weird whispery voice other times. These were the ghost that of drama, dude, were... drama school students, wasn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. No, it was just Desiree having a hard time making different voices for the ghosts and Carrie at the same time. I Thank want you, my yeah. loot. I'm looking for how much loot you find. Um, I, I'm, I will make a note. I'm not actually stopping Fluffington from doing anything. That's I'm fine. Just... You'd have a fight if you tried stopping me. You are a stuffed animal. With 20 yeah, and ideal bludgeoning damage. With He's a stuffed <laughs> animal with 10 class levels. I'm a stuffed animal 20 AC in a battle axe that has a plus 9 to hit. Only plus That's 9? Like, actually a tank. I am a, yeah. I'm a frontline character. It would be a bad battle. <laughs> a uh, frontline I don't want to know how it would <laughs> go. I, I, I could Oliver? win or lose. Oliver, it would be a 2v1. Yes. Oh, yeah. he, as soon as you attack it, Actually, I'm attacking you. As I said, I'm, I'm not trying to stop in, so. <laughs> I know which side I'd be on in that fight. Um. Because I still have my shape shift. Anyways. <laughs> so, so you're in, um, there. I, in the search for shiny things. Remember, I take pens, pins, uh, spoons, glasses, vials, um, metal shoe horns. <laughs> Anything shine that is it. shiny at all. Do is I going find to anything? Sh like I'm presumably searching the rooms quicker than him. I'm not stopping. I'm flying through them. I'm seeing anything yeah, that grabs my attention. Uh, but are the you difference is, are you thoroughly searching for the rooms, or are you glancing as you fly through? Because I'm just walking into a room and going, "Nope, no ghosts here." <laughs> oh. I'm going to the next room. <laughs> I'm like, I'm looking. I'm coming in, doing a 360, going to the next room, doing a 360, going to the next room, doing a 360. So you're not moving things. No, if something's, like, in a box, I'm not going to find it. Okay. That being said, if I find a treasure chest, I open the treasure chest. <laughs> if I get to a room before him, can I look for, like, one shiny thing and just pocket it for potential um, use later? Uh, you aren't really seeing that much as the two of you search through the house. Um, first, in the kitchen, you do find some spoons that are better taken care of, cutlery and stuff. How many spoons? I would just grab uh, one of the spoons as I'm going through, basically. You find. Do I have to like roll him to see? There who finds were spoons? originally four spoons. Um, both of your perceptions really good though, so he might see you taking it, Oliver. So I'm gonna get uh, you. Uh, that is a twenty-two on sleight of hand. What's your passive perception? Uh, well, passive's only fifteen, but I would be paying attention to him if he's in my room. Is when I'm trying to get shinies. Well, no, this is the first room before you went looking. Oh, uh, fifteen. Okay. So yeah, okay. you do manage to grab a spoon. There are three more spoons that you find. Yeah, I, I don't grab anything after that. I'm just grabbing one shiny thing just in case I ever need it to get his attention. You, you know a piece of gold does the same thing, right? Yeah, I was going to say. Why do you want to spend money on What board are we on again? Yeah, but this is free. <laughs> we are currently on board 26. Okay. Um, so. What else did I find in uh, this? You found some spoons. Uh knocked over in the room that one of the bedrooms that's directly above the room where you shattered uh you find what was probably a someone's sewing kit with a bunch of little pins and needles and stuff that are reasonably shiny still um other than that there's not so much metal and as you guys make your way through the house you notice that it looks like it hasn't been touched in quite a few years you couldn't determine the direct number but it's been inhabited more recently than the cellar you were just investigating. Much more recently. And the bodies that were downstairs still had a little bit of, like, yuckiness to them. I don't feel like going into detail on that one. But there was... There was their a good brains enough. were leaking out of their ears! Yeah, burning that didn't smell good. Uh, the bones held together when Valhir picked them up. So... Mm, smells like the shadow anything. isles. So yeah, um, you found spoons, uh, one set of probably like, it looks like it was for a child at one point, but just like a play chain um, vest 
that's way too small for like anybody. It would fit Jace. <laughs> but uh it's reasonably shiny and it clinks when you move it around, so I figured you'd be interested. Any other corpses? Also, I'm uh, going to go and retrieve what's left of sorry, the bones. Sorry, um, what is the object? Sorry. It a child's play chain vest, or chain shirt. Okay, thank you. And... Um, yeah. Ian? Um, I was going to just say that I'm going to also retrieve the bones from uh, that underground thing in the field. As you go to touch them, them. They, they fall apart. Everything crumbles to dust beneath your fingertips. I will sweep up enough of it and go and get it into the fire. Fair Wait, I'm just... And also, did I find any other corpses? You found no other corpses. Okay. Our, I come back outside go and... looking very happy about my horde find. Mm -hmm. Is anybody going to retrieve the homeowner? Uh, I'm going to in a moment. I'm yeah, I was um, sure as the like of property first. Yeah, yeah. yeah make as sure that he was... won't get killed. After I burn the bodies, I'll like put the dirt back on it and you know start okay. walking yeah. towards the homeowner. I yeah, I'll go up to him as well. So it's Val here and Oliver going to get Ashford. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y'all walk up to the cart. Ashford is sitting in the front of the cart, holding onto the reins of the horses, kind of looking nervously. He looks very happy to see you, though. I was terrified for a second you were going to say he wasn't there. So it's just an Ashford that would have been such a good. Wall. Oh. That would have been such a good thing to have done, but I didn't do it, so too bad. Um, there is an Ashford. He's sitting on the cart. Oh, uh, so is it gone? Maybe. Both of them? Yes. Maybe. Actually, you know, actually, yeah, maybe. If um, you find a weird box, burn it. A uh, weird box? No, oh, I forgot to search the house for that. Um, no, my concern is that they're not gone permanently. I'd recommend letting us stay the night and um, just making sure. Also, uh, there's a weird cellar. Idea. There's a weird cellar. Magic stuff. Weird cellar. Um, magic stuff? Like, I'm okay, I, I'm, a, I'm a Golocaster merchant. I, so I, I understand. I'm a bear. I'm, I'm a, oh, I'm a you bear, don't I don't. understand the magic stuff. Okay. I don't. Sorry, I thought you were dumbing it down for my purpose. I apologize. No. I, um, I dabble in alchemy, but not magic. Ah, I see. Okay. Um, there was a cauldron. Go take a look. A cauldron. Um,. Don't touch Anyways, the powder in it. That's generally a good idea. You don't uh, generally want to touch the... Wait, powder? Yeah. Looks like... Yeah, it... The skeleton disintegrated when I touched it, so it's been there a while. Oh. Okay, it's probably inert by this point then. Um, I'll come back along with you if you... You can definitely feel free to remain for the next day or so. Yeah. Um, so he'll join you back at the house. I'm just gonna grab a random token for him because I didn't have one. Yeah, while they're all settling in, I'm gonna quickly take like, I'm gonna quickly take stock of everyone. Does anyone look injured in the party? Hey party, how do we look? Full. On a scale of one to a hundred, I'm about a ninety. Yeah, I'll grab some stuff out of my kit again and start patching up Val here. Okay. Is anyone else looking injured? Josh, Hubble. Uh, you're at. You just regained nine hit points. Team Groban's fine. Yeah, I, I already Groban saw. Fine. I already saw the that Groban's team. Team Groban's all good. Uh, Hubble looking. Hubble, did you get hurt? <sighs> Bree, Bree here? do you exist? Yes. Hi. Did you get hurt? I was muted. No, you said how is Hubble looking, and I responded mildly confused. Uh, I see. Yeah, we did okay. not hear that. Mildly nope. confused, yeah. No, nope. but not injured, so that's a thing. Yeah. Uh, you seem to have sustained not very much damage, and as Ashford comes into the farm area and sees the rest of your compatriots, he seems mildly impressed at the, you know, lack of damage on everybody. 
Yeah, I, I spend a bit of time bandaging Val here, and you hear me whispering to myself, okay, maybe, maybe this will work. <laughs> As he's learning to heal things that aren't human. Or well, elf. Yeah, Val here's not exactly a familiar thing. You put a tiefling in front of me, I'm good. A gnome, I'm good. A halfling, I'm good. I could probably do a hobgoblin in a pinch, even. <laughs> what about a centaurian gnome? Uh, I mean, that's just a centaur and a gnome. That's doable. But this is a bear. I'm not a veterinarian. <laughs> so, um, thank you everybody for uh, all your assistance. Um, feel free to find uh, somewhere to spend the rest of the night if you're all in agreement that staying here is a good idea, as I'm more than happy to have you. Uh, and uh, I have a feeling that I'm going to need to hire some help to get this place up to snuff. So uh, I will join you back to uh, Ecochia when you are ready to depart. Uh, thank you immensely for uh, coming to my aid. No worries. Yep. Ghosty services on the go. She gives him a thumbs up. Ghost? Also. If anything weird grows over there, wasn't me. And you point to the patch of recently dug up dirt? Yep. There were a couple of um, bodies, we buried them. It's ah. possible that was related to um, what was going on. Don't know for certain. I'm not really up to knowledgeable on that. Interesting. Uh, were the... Were, did you encounter any other beings? Other yeah, there, the was, there was a few ghosts. There's a weird winged thing and a specter, but I don't know, I climbed a building and then you were dead, so... But the ghosts weren't hostile. No, no they're just, and we they're just more burned the bodies and all that and they seemed to go away. Huh, interesting. I wonder what would have tied them here, he says as he wanders off to go check out his new house. Something about their bodies, that's all I really got out of it. Fair enough. I don't and he's know gonna that. go look around. Um, does anybody well, want to do anything before the evening sets in? Not really. Yeah, all of a sudden, Oliver muttering to himself, I don't know. Once they're dead, I don't really have much to do with them at that point. <laughs> I want to do a detect magic walk around of the entire building. Inside, outside, everywhere I can eat fit. eat a bunch of apples. You do have a bunch of apples. Uh, uh, you're doing a detect magic walk around? Yeah. Um, the majority of the house is mundane until you, uh, do you want to follow my fancy light into the kitchen? I will attempt to. Let's see how that goes. Actually, she's got a bunch of apples. I'm going to go, can I borrow, like, can I steal, like, Oh my god, the roof cut away properly. Okay. So as you come in here, uh, where this, like, white canister is on the top shelf here. I see it. Okay. You get the ungodly, abhorrent box shape again. But again, it's just residue, there's nothing there. But this one is much more recent, although not as potent. There's Hubble giving me the apples. <laughs> Do you what? I, I was like, can I steal like four of those also, or something? She's Who's this guy you standing on dull space right next to me? Uh, that would be the homeowner. Ashford's just, like, looking around the shattered kitchen. He's just T-posing five feet off the ground. <laughs> Is he actually? Oh, he's on top of something, whoops. <laughs> get on the ground, silly guy. <laughs> there we go, sorry. Like, I get that it's haunted, but don't people, like, wait till night to start floating? Probably. Uh, he's not actually floating, I just put him on a barrel by accident. But, yeah, uh... Things in here were destroyed before you got here, but the shatter definitely did some more damage. Uh, no, it didn't. It was like that when we got here. There's a little bit of, like, aberration on the doors. You think there was some sort of protection. Um, a little bit of divination, I believe, would be alarm. I'm pretty... I th is alarm divination? Alarm? I think it's... Mm-hmm. Yeah, divination. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was I thought it was. Okay. Um, so you get like a hint of divination and ab abjuration on the doors of most of the buildings, as if they were locked with some sort of magic lock, but uh, and alarmed. 
but uh, the crazy, ungodly, terrible necromancy. Nope, alarm's abjuration. Is it abjuration? Yep. I figured it would be. It is a warding spell. I guess, but like, okay, whatever. Anyways, uh, abjuration all over the doors and the terrible, terrible magic where that white cylinder of sorts <clears throat> sitting in the kitchen area. I'm gonna point area. at it. Do you need this? Oh no, there's, there's not actually a cylinder there. I'm just using it as reference. There's there's a blank space between those two Oh, objects. there's just remnant magic. Yeah, there's remnant magic. There's not, there's, oh, okay. there's not actually... The cylinder is a representation of the magic. There's not actually anything there. Oh, okay. There's actually an empty spot on the shelf. Alright. What's the magic smell like? Um, Burning tin. <laughs> it smells like wood. It, 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 you're not okay. getting it on top of it. You smell the shelf. But will Hubble right, give me the four apples? <laughs> Hubble, will you part with four of your apples? She's gonna look him up and down slowly. Trying to... Judge's merit. I, I, I still have four apples. I should note I still have my flake doctor mask on. <laughs> yeah, you do. I'm just gonna you should give him just to see how he eats them. And she's gonna hand him the apples. Four apples. I'm gonna disappear into a room and start taking out my al alchemy set. I'm coming with you. And my brewer's supplies. You're gonna watch him brew apple apple beer. Yes. Um. I am basically making, um, I'm gonna basically use my alchemy kit to try and fast ferment some apple cider. Yep, I'm coming with you. Hubble's found your favorite drink. No, no, I'm stuck on the door. I'm gonna turn to Fluffington, it's like, so, where do you want to bunk down for the night? Um, I don't know, I just kind of chill, so, I'm fine anywhere. I kind of want to get back to the tavern soon, though. Nah. Well, it's a few days journey. Apple. Actually, what what time of day is it? It's running into evening. The sun's beginning to set. Uh, let me give you yeah. some ambience. Do oh, I need to make a roll for this, or? Uh, sure. It's uh, basically... You're making a thing. Yeah, I'm basically... You... I'll give you dexterity of proficiency. Okay. Um, Dex plus proficiency, so plus eight. This is weird. Uh, that's a 19. Yeah. You you make some pretty gosh darn good apple cider. Yeah, I, I'm admittedly fortifying it a little bit and shortcutting it. It's not like proper apple cider. It's more like apple juice and a little bit of scumble and a couple other things filtered in. It'll it'll hit the same. It'll taste approximately the same, but probably apple not Apple cider exactly. isn't even that strong. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm... I'm putting in a very small amount of scumble. Oh, okay. It's 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 apple cider, but like they put like, what's the really really crazily strong stuff? Absinthe, Everclear, vodka, tequila. I wonder, um, just throwing it out there, if we wouldn't mind stopping with tonight's sleep. What? Oh, we're sleeping in shifts. We're sleeping in shifts. I'm at D and D. Sorry. He wants He's wondering if we could mission. end at the sleep. Ah, uh, I think. Oh, you don't want to travel back to the city? Uh, I don't know, I'm having a hard time focusing. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we'll finish up this night then. It's one of those days, I don't know. I'm having a hard time focusing. Okay. Fair enough. Um, yep, so, uh, you made some pretty darn good, strong apple cider. Uh, Val here is finding somewhere to sleep. Uh, Josh and the Groban squad are doing stuff. Josh and the Groban. I am sharing with Hubble. Josh and the Groban. That's our band name. We're getting drunk. Yep. <laughs> I have no idea where Hubble I just went. Uh, Hubble is getting drunk. <laughs> I think you went up to the Val here. I am allowing myself to get a little bit tipsy. <laughs> Val here is going to ask Oliver where he got his training. Um. I you doubt but, you've heard of it. It's a monastery up case. in the mountains. Can I get a little help? Uh, sure. Where would you like to be? 
Which case? What? Outside. Anywhere that's not in the bookcase. <laughs> in the bookcase. There you go. Long girl. Val here is asking me that, though. Uh, it's yeah. the School of the Blossoming Serpent. I, it's a monastery up in the mountains. They deal with medicine and some other stuff. Nice. I knew a guy who used to fight like you. He's pretty cool, dude. Hmm. He was blind, though. It was weird. We got a couple of those. <laughs> we got a couple of those, but admittedly, not with the style that I'm trained in. It's a more yeah. wide-sweeping strikes. Yeah. What I do kind of needs the precision that, unfortunately, being blind doesn't give you. <laughs> no. no, man. Blind doctors. I'm gonna rule the world one day. <laughs> Well, actually, no, that's not what he was talking about. He very specifically basically hit the guy in the jugular when he hit him earlier. That's not hard to do. If you're blind? Yeah. Just sniff it out. Yo, I found the perfect room for Val here to sleep in. Because it's got a, it's got two beds in it. Is there, like, a out. well or something? Uh... Probably, I don't know if there's actually one, but... Are, basically, am I asking, are you saying there's a well? <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, also draw well. water and, like, heat it for a bath, because you mentioned, like, I gotta clean clothes and have been on the road for a couple days. Yep, and you put your head into a yucky skeleton. Yep, well, my knee, knee, but... Into the head of a yucky skeleton is what I meant to say. Mm -hmm. So yes, there is a well. <laughs> It's just made these beds backwards. Those, Those beds are backwards. I'm also gonna be sleeping in here. Yeah. Yeah, you're just making a nest somewhere in there. No. Yep. Or are you in the closet? Yeah. Yes. I'll ask him. Do you want the door open or closed? Closed. Okay. Or open if you want. It's up to you. Oh, uh, that's fine. <laughs> Goes on the bed. <clears throat> just passes out. As I note down the name that I said to you guys for my school.